I'm getting ready to cut some wood tomorrow. It's supposed to be a, you know, a better day above zero anyway. So I was going to switch out and put the 20 inch bar on my saw, on the 372. I don't often run the 24 inch. Um, usually I use that for ripping. I use, I use the 372 for ripping. I use that 55 branch for almost all my wood cutting, but I'm dealing with some pretty good sized oak tomorrow. So I'm going to use the 372. But I'm going to drop down to the 20 inch bar. But before I switch that off, you know, and this bar has been on here since I bought the saw. I mean, this is the, the bar that came with the saw. But the chain I was running on this was kind of an experiment. I run Oregon chains and Oregon bars, even like this says Husqvarna, but it's really an Oregon bar. They're identical. But I was trying to do chain just out of curiosity. It's a DPX chain, but an Oregon chain. But it's called a Duracut. Now what they were designed for is for cutting dirty wood. Like say if you are uh, working with, like if somebody takes out a shelter belt and they push it up with the dozer, you've got a lot of dirt mixed in with the wood. That's what this chain is designed for. It's got a harder cutters on it. Though, and they're, they're angled differently. Uh, what does it say here? DPX. Yeah, they're running at 30 degree angle. You know, so they're like that. You know, and, and normally you're running 25. Or on a rip cut, you know, you're going 10 on a rip chain. So they're angled back quite a little more. But what that does, it, it makes them cut smoother. But at the same time, Whereas normally I'm running a, a 30 on the depth gauge, this one actually runs at 25. So it's not taking as much of a bite. So what I noticed, and just experiment with it, 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 it's not as aggressive. It cuts a little slower, but it cuts smoother. But the theory on these being harder, like I say, for dirty wood, they're supposed to last two or three times longer between sharpenings. Though, uh, in theory, <laughs> they are a harder material, so though you can file them, they are hard to file, or hard on files. But it was an interesting idea, and I happened to run across one for the 24 inch, so I thought, well, I'll try it. And like I say, it does cut a little slower, a little smoother, you know, which is not bad. Uh, I'm not, you know, like you see people all the time cutting, you know, get a log about this big, and they're cutting these little thin things on. And seconds matter. Well, seconds don't matter to me. If it takes me 15 seconds longer to cut through a log, I don't care. You know, I'm not <laughs> into the high performance. I just want something that's going to continue to work. So this chain seems like a pretty good idea. Particularly if you're, if you're dealing with, like I say, dirty wood that's been like pushed in a pile or skidded up. Or if you're dealing with wood, like a lot of times if you pull, you'll see like a nice dead old, or ash laying in the river. If you pull that up, it's going to be full of sand. You know, the water washes the sand into it. They cut tough. Or well, they're just tough on chains. But that's what this chain is designed for. Interesting, but like I said, I'm going to pull it off. Uh, it'll be all right to have one of them on hand. But for what I'm cutting, is usually clean wood. Don't really need it. And I really don't need the, the 24. 
I, I don't like to use any longer than I have to. You know, and if I can get by with the 20, that's what I'll use. Uh, longer bar just takes more power to run a chain over, more prone to having an accident with them. You know, having that long bar out there and then cutting a, you know, having three feet of bar and cutting a one foot log doesn't make any sense. It's, I hear people say, oh, it's handy. You don't have to bend over as much. Good way to cut your foot. You know, uh, you don't need to run them long bars. It just makes it more awkward. And a chain like this, like I say, is not as aggressive. It's not as tiring to run. You don't get as much vibration. So not a bad idea, though price-wise, I think this was 40 for the chain. Normally, I'm dealing like $20 for a chain. So, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the, with the regular Oregon chain. I don't need to go with that all the time, but like I said, it'd be nice to have one on hand. But it is called a DPX. Duracut. Yeah, from loggerchain.net. I wouldn't mind if I run across another one, uh, get one that I can run on a, on the 20 inch bar too. Because there are times you're dealing with dirty wood. And that'll take care of a chain in short order, it'll dull them. Okay, speaking of that, like before, now this is my original bar that came on this saw. I get a lot of life out of bars. I can run them for a long time because I just keep repairing them or rebuilding them. You know, you always get... <clears throat> you know, if you start getting... You know, this is a, a 50. It's supposed to be a 50. And if you start getting a lot of play in there, that's where when people complain that their saw is cutting crooked. You need to push them back together, which is what this tool does. You know, it runs on there and then go down and then bearings push that bar back together. And then, even more important, is this file that you run on there to true up that top surface and also to take off that burr that you get along the edge. Because you can feel it sometimes. You get one with a burr and get sloppy. Plus, if they get sloppy, then you're not oiling right. So, run the right oil in the first place. You know, the low temp oil. I see people, you know, they're to show that their saw is oiling, they'll be running them, revving it up, and the oil is flying off the end onto a piece of wood. Ah, now we're oiling. No, you're, you're, you're oiling the top of the chain, but if it isn't sticking on there and going all the way around, you're not doing it any good down here. you got to use the right oil for the right season. It's very important. And then keep that bar tight. Because like I said, this has been on there a long time. I've run this bar for a long time. Though this bar, I say, like I say, it's it's an Oregon bar. The Husqvarna one's an Oregon bar. This is an Oregon bar. They're the exact same bar. Husqvarna's bars are made by Oregon. That one I keep just for ripping. Then as a bar wears down more, I use them for the regular cutting, but a new bar is always used for ripping. But it'll be interesting. You know, I could see where at times this would be uh, handy to have, uh, but I think people get confused about chains because there are many different types of chains and different purposes for each type of chain. It's something you have to kind of learn and then they keep coming out with new ones all the time because I hadn't heard of this one before. I think it came out like a year ago. 
But in theory, there's more chromium in the cutter, so they're harder. Which is what makes them harder to file, but makes them stay sharp longer. But I think they make a regular profile chain that uses that same kind of tooth. You know, that harder. Uh, you can actually tell these are kind of blue. You know, the, the cutters themselves. Otherwise, just regular chain, man. That's, that's my bread and butter. I live on them. But called the DPX. I don't like that. Or I like the idea. I like having an option. But I should get one in the 20 because I, I really... 24, unless I'm taking down something really big, I don't use 24. But it's handy to have. But 20 is the, the size I cut with. And the chains that I use on my 55 are the same chain that I use on my 372 and the 20 inch because I run a 20 inch bar on that. The bars are different because the 372 uses a different style of oiler on it. But the chains are identical so I keep a lot of those chains on hand because those are what I use. But it's alright to have something different. But now I'll pull this off, put this bar on and I'll keep this bar and chain together as a pair. I do that all the time. You know, you can put the chain on just like what this is, and you hang them up, that's a set. So I have an extra set.